Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to add these really cool film frames effect to Final Cut Pro 10. Basically, just creating these really cool 8mm film effects that you probably see all over the place. I want to go over basically how to kind of find this plugin and where to um, download this plugin. Now one thing to keep in mind is um, this does cost money. It's not a completely free plugin and it comes with I think about 12 or 13 different um, 8mm film effects. However, there is one There's one of them that costs um, like $5. It's this one right here. The 06, you can go ahead and buy this one. It used to be free but the person changed the price and now it's $5. So if you want like just like a cheaper 8mm film effect, you can download doubt go for this but I decided I want to go ahead and just buy the entire um, pack and kind of basically break down and go over um, the pack okay so what you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel right here and you want to go to 8 millimeter film effects as you can see right here here are a whole bunch of different 8 millimeter film effects so it comes with 12 and then you have a whole bunch of cool like, dust overlays um, and uh, film burns the one that I keep in mind is this actually does not come with the pack this is just a little um, effect that I created and I'll go ahead and put the the link to this code filter down below this I believe is completely free but I just want to kind of put together a really cool idea so anyways I'm gonna go through and I should have put them all in order right here so this is the first one right here this is the second one right here and third one fourth one and so on and so forth so here are all the different eight millimeter film effects that come inside this pack now I believe this pack costs about if I remember correctly it costs about like 15 or 18 dollars I think it costs about 18 dollars so if you want to go ahead and get a big pack of have eight millimeter film effects. I've never seen a better um, plug-in, you know, pack full of eight millimeter film effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play it right here. I'll pause on each one of them. So you can see right here, here is the first one right here. Here are a whole bunch of different um, settings. The big ones you wanna keep in mind are the jitter amount. The jitter amount basically just makes the thing shake a lot. And then, you know, you can adjust the film burn opacity, the test, but the basic one are the jitter amount and the film burn opacity. You just wanna adjust them. Again, the jitter is the thing, uh, it makes the screen shake. If you don't want it to shake, turn the jitter all the way down. So you can see right there, there we go. There is the second one right here. Pretty much the same thing right here. Here is the third one right here. Um, and then we keep moving on. Just go to the next one. It's the fourth one right here. I kind of want to show you what each of them have. So here is the fifth one right here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over right here. And then here is the sixth one right here. Keep on going. And then we have the seventh one um, right there. We have number eight right here. And then I just have number nine um, over here. And then I'll go over to number 10 right here. And this basically is a little bit different. It allows you to adjust like this. You can adjust kind of the look of the eight millimeter film effect um, right there. And the same thing with 11 right there. Um, it allows you to adjust the X and the Y. So you can go ahead and just mess with that until you get the look um, that you want right there. And then you have um, number 12, which basically just does everything the other ones does, except it just turns it um, black and white. So if that's the f that's the effect that you want, then there we go. So you have that really cool kind of um, black and white effect right there. And that's pretty much it right there. I'm going to go ahead and just disable the 8mm film effect. I want to go over a couple different effects um, that come inside the pack. So if I scroll all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and head over to Dust. Now I like the first one and the second one. The third and the fourth one create kind of like a um, black dust effect, a black particle effect, which I'm obviously not a big fan of. I'm a much bigger fan of kind of the white particles um, right here. So you can see that's what it looks like. You have this really cool kind of dust effect and you can of course adjust the settings um, right there. I'll go ahead and just apply dust number three basically it's the same thing but it just creates black particles or black dust and this and that's what it looks like um right there so it creates kind of that, like that black um dust particle um effect right there now i'm going to head over here and go to like the film burn opacity i'm just going to go in film burn effect 
I'll just go to like film burn six. You can of course adjust and go through and pick the ones that you want. But here is the film burn um, number six um, right there. That's what it looks like right there. So you, you uh, some of the eight millimeter, eight millimeter film effects have a film burn, you know, actually built into the eight millimeter film effect, but some of them don't. So you can go ahead and just go through here and basically just add a whole bunch of different film burns. You have uh, uh, nine different film burns. So you can go ahead and go through and pick the one that you like the best. So you see right here, there's a whole bunch of film burns right here. You can add some dust particles right here. And then there's 12 eight millimeter um, film effects or film overlays right there. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 220 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check out that playlist if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro um, 10 tutorials. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.